Alrighty then, hello everyone and welcome to this video. Um, I'm still in pain, but not as much as yesterday. So um, I am getting better. Like my ribs are still messed up, but <coughs> <coughs> I'm making progress. And now that it's daytime, I can actually show you what I've done. So I realigned the, uh, the solar panels. Construction is still the same. I've slowly started on the uh, on the higher bit, so you can see it's highing up, and then it's just going to be a line. Like I, eventually, I want to have the whole thing lifted, but I think what I'll do is I'll just do that line from there to there, and then perhaps I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, I'll leave this piece as it is, and then here I do another line. So I kind of have like a, a closed off something. And then here I can have a little bit go up till the end of the door. And then go down. And then here uh, go up and make it smooth. So it's kind of like a, a little closed area. Or I can just leave it open the way that it is. So it's going to be a line, line, a line. And like I said, eventually I want the whole thing lifted. But... Yeah, it's too much work at the moment, so I'll uh, I'll just leave it as this. And why is this on? There we go. So yeah, that's basically it. So I, like I said, I realigned the solar panels, and as you can see, I put them slightly forward, and I bolted them down again. And once I uh, take them apart, I just need somebody to hold that part and that part, and then I can lower the whole thing. And it's not going to move. And once the third one is up, I'll push it all the way back again. But, uh, yeah, and probably move it a little bit that side. Depends on if I have enough space here. So I want this to move as far away to that side as possible. Because I have a little bit of shadow from uh, my next door neighbor overhead. So the further I can move it away, the better. And uh, besides, eventually, um, I'll probably get another another connection here for uh, for the tarp. But uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, it should be fine anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's basically uh, the progress. So it's, it's uh, looking nice. And tonight, I cannot do it now because the sun is still out. So I think I'll do that after seven. Is uh, I'm gonna rewire the cable so you can already see I have like a, a ground wire going into the hole there, and there's where well, these two go through as well. And I also found some wire that I had, so this is going to go inside. So I'll, like I said, I'll have to do that tonight. Go through the hole there, and then I'm gonna route it like this, and then it's gonna go out there, or I can go there. And then go there and then through. Either way is fine. Like I don't think I have holes there yet. But uh, yeah, eventually once the roof comes in, you won't see any of these wires. And I still need to redo this one, but it's fine. It's just the ground. <clears throat> so, and then uh, they will come here because like right now it's just like this. But these ones go through there and I have some more wire inside. So no worries, I have plenty of wire. And then I can route this better as well. So, as you can see in this box I have some wire. I have some additional wire there. And connectors as well, so. But, uh, actually, let me show you the upstairs because it looks pretty damn neat. And I also washed my solar panels a little. But uh, yeah, there's only so much I can I cannot reach here. So you can see the pieces shiny, and this one is still dirty. Like I said, I need to load the whole thing before I can actually clean them properly. But uh, yeah, that's how it basically looks. Then the third one is going to come in. Go. 
Yeah, it looks nice and good. Just a little bit more. But uh, in, in later at the summer, uh, the sun is going to be a little bit further that way. And uh, it's going to be higher as well and it's hitting the solar panels dead on. So I'm just going to move this whole thing. And I can because these are not attached so they, they, they can slide. I'll probably put some fat so they can slide better. And then there, well, I'll just, just move them. Oh man, my solar panels are so dirty. But like I said, I'll clean this once my brother is here so I can lower the whole thing. And then I'm gonna hook up the third one. And then I'm gonna like go from there, go back up again. So I need somebody there and there. And that one will go together with that one. I just need one person there, one person there, or else it's just too heavy. I'll break shit. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's basically what it is. Oh, and you can see that the shed is completely empty now. But, uh, yeah. Start to look nice. And uh, my room as well. Start to look nice. Oh. Oh, my rib. I can still feel it here. Yesterday we had a pole collide right here. Like the bottom rib. Oh yeah, during the, when, it was, when the sun was shining and I was sitting here, it was like, oh yeah, this is perfect, you know? Like when the sun is that low, like you're not gonna be sitting in the sun, you know? It was like, when you're sitting like that, you don't have the sun in your face. And when the sun is high enough, you still have shade. Like, I really start digging this whole setup. And it's so easy to build. It's so easy. And relatively cheap. Like, uh, well, cheap, cheap. It's still like 1500 but still. You know? And uh, like I said, we got the anchor points there. So if I literally need to lift this whole thing, I just need to unbuckle or unscrew these bolts there. Those two, you see there? So I can slide this whole pipe that way. So then it becomes separated from the wall. And the same here. And then when you have six people, you grab these, you unscrew them there. And then you lift the whole thing up and then you move it forward or wherever you want to. So if they ever need to do construction on my windows or whatnot, then they can just lift the whole thing up and move it like a party tent. So now it is heavy. That's why you need six people for this. But uh, yeah, you can just pick it up. Now I will anchor them. Like right now they're not anchored because I forgot. So I still need to tighten those bolts. But I'll do that after I leveled uh, the thingy because I'm still doing with a lot of sand. So that's why I haven't done that. But oh man, I start really loving this. Oh, and I managed to bolt more bolts into it. So, but yeah, it looks nice. Actually, I think I can show you one bit. So you can see what I mean, because this one isn't hooked up yet. And it's a perfect opportunity to show. So let me just unscrew this one right here. So we get the bolt. And then this whole thing comes down just like this. Just like that. And that's basically where the solar panel is going to lie on. And that's the same with all of these. I forget to put the bolt back. But 
So there you have it. That's basically how it's gonna look. And that's with these as well. So they have plenty of space to put a ladder here and go up if they want to clean my windows or whatnot. But I do need two people, one on that bolt, one this, and this one should be able to handle the strain. But yeah, this is, like I said, this whole thing can you know, come down. Oh, doorbell, hold on. All right, I'm back. So, yeah, as you can see, this whole thing comes down like that. And then with those as well. So, when it's like this, you know, like it, it's sturdy, it's not going anywhere. I can clean the solar panels because they're a little bit easier to reach like this than like that. So like I said, this whole thing can move up and down like this. And uh, I can just leave it like that. And then I still have plenty of room to get behind it. So you can see there's plenty of room to get behind it and still be able to keep on standing straight. So as you can see standing straight and I still have headroom so I can actually do maintenance on the cables or whatnot or so on and so on and then uh, I can cover my windows more <laughs> if I wanted to now eventually I want to have kind of like a um, electrical uh, maybe some electrical uh, cables or some uh, some steel cables to like push a button and then that whole thing comes down like that. But uh, I, I need to figure out how uh, to do, uh, like if it's not too much because I'll need to hook one there in that corner and one in that corner. So I need two that go simultaneously and then they're gonna wire to there and there like hooks. And then I can like push a button and then it's gonna lower the whole thing gently. And when I need to pull it back up, I could just push the button again and it's gonna pull the thing back up again. But uh, I'll need to make a certain construction here because, uh, well, I don't think I can handle it on one pole. So uh, I'll probably need to set a, uh, uh, a temporary uh, thing. And when I'm done lifting and lowering it, I'll just unhook it and uh, hook them there again. Like it's like I know how it works in my head, but it's kind of difficult to explain. But then I can just push a button and I just lower the whole thing like that. So, but I'll need the engines either really really high or um, or just above it. Technically, I can mount it on this thing but then how do you get it up you know like i'll need to get like uh, pulleys or something like that on the edges and then uh go through that pulley like like this in order to uh to get the lift because it needs to go like this and when they're there it might be pulling too much that way so I need a pulley or a wheel that uh, that goes under and then back up again. But I'll figure it out. It's there's no rush. You know, it's not that I'm gonna lower and and upper every day. It's like maybe once in two months or three months or so, so I can clean my panels if needed. Like if a bird starts pooping on it. But uh, or what I could do is have a very a long extension which is actually cheaper now I think about it and then uh, just brush it like I did there but uh, yeah I need to get a, an extension pole so to say for my water hose with a brush like that I have there and then I can uh, I can basically do that so I can actually scrub my solar panels because these panels generate almost the same amount as the ones on my roof like today just because I had two panels they generated about 500 to 600 watts but it's only two of them and they were dirty like they're still dirty but yeah, just in general you know but uh, yeah I'm uh, <clears throat> 
I've got some work to do. So like I said, tonight, uh, once the sun is down, I'll unhook the wires and then go through the shed and hook it up to the shed. So, and then I don't have to worry about that. Like I need one cable here because of the third panel and then route it uh, from there to there. So I need the uh, connection here and then route it that way but in such a way that it doesn't go on the uh, clippers so I have zip ties as well so I can nicely uh, route the cables so anyway I'm gonna in go by there oh yeah I was going to make some tea I'm gonna go inside make some tea and then I'll be online for a chocobo stream for um, Minecraft, so I will be online. I just need a minute or so. Okay. All right, I hope to see you there.